This is not a kid-friendly show. <laughs> Yo, what's going on my dudes? Let's get right into the quest. I'm standing here up by Chuck and we're gonna go ahead and get started. Hi Chuck, how's it going? Ah, large gets, it's been good to see you again. Back to the freezer quest. Any news on the penguins, Chuck? Funny you should ask, I've just had word from two PBJ agents that are on an observation mission. They've reported that they've seen some unusual activity on the iceberg. Perhaps you could go and speak to them and find out what's happening. Alright, so the required items, combat equipment protection against desert heat, insulated boots, and an ice cooler obtained from Slayer Master or from other players. I have those in my inventory because I read that earlier, so I do have the ice cooler and insulated boots, and I got wearing a combat equipment, forget the protection heat, I should be good, rewards, not going to get into because we'll see them at the end of the quest, but combat be able to defeat 61 foes, not a problem, so let's accept the quest. Splendid, the agents are called Scott and Munsend and are located in Relica. You may have difficulty spotting them with their exceptional disguises. Go and strike up a conversation with them and report back to me when you have more information. Oh, I almost forgot you'll need the passphrase. Okay, I'm ready. The weather on the ice plateau is sunny and the shrimp are to die for. Okay, so we need to go to Relica. On the plateau, ice plateau, it's sunny and the shrimp are to die for. Gotta remember that. Oh, what the hell is this? They're humans? Hmm. Chuck has said to strike a conversation. I wonder. Excuse me, could I borrow a tinderbox? I use a fire lighter. They do say they're better. I'm thinking of taking a holiday. Ice plateau, sunny, and they wanted the shrimp. The weather on the ice plateau is sunny and the shrimp are to die for. That does sound like an excellent holiday destination. What can we do you for? Hello, Chuck has sent me to find you. He said the penguins are up to something. Indeed. There's been an abnormal amount of activity on the iceberg of late. In what way? Penguins running around here and there. Lots of banging noises. It's all very suspicious. I've heard it from inside source that pest scaling packs is plotting to permanently lower the temperature of Gillinor. Oh no! Perhaps you should go over there and find out what's happening. Why don't you two go? Oh, we're much more imports er busy. Yes, busy. Fine. Hey, can you feel that rumbling? Don't tell me you're more important. I am the world guardian. How dare you? Okay. What is this? TARDIS? What in the world? Launching the small house thingy. All the way into the desert, homie? Boom. Holy crap, the penguins. They're making the desert freaking cold. What the hell? That is some serious son of a what? I go back to Chuck. Saw a blue blocks taking off from the iceberg. It landed. In... Okay, let's go there to pull Navich. Haven't had my Slayer cape on me, which is actually quite convenient because we can go straight to Simona. Oh God, there it is. Talk to this Emperor Penguin. Squawk. You know, he's about that fetty wop. There's a sign on it. It reads, Terraforming Arctic Refrigeration Dispensing Ice Spreader. Maybe this is how the penguins are planning to lower the temperature of Gillinor. Maybe I should see if anyone in the area has saw what happened. Uh, one of these Ali's probably saw some shit. Oh, you have definitely seen some shit, Dundee. Hello there, young adventurer. Ask about the penguins. Did you see what happened here? I'm afraid I didn't. I was busy talking to this croc here, and when I turned around, there was a load of penguins and ice everywhere. You could talk to crocodiles? Of course. Got my trusty croc speed amulet here. Could I try it out? Sure. Take my spare. This dude just has spare croc speed amulets. I mean, no one's questioning that? Okay. No, I don't want to say goodbye. Alright, I don't care. Forget you. Put the croc speed on. 
Let's talk to this croc. Er, hello? Oh no, oh no. What's wrong, brown croc? I don't like the cold. Please don't let them make it cold. There, there, calm down. It'll probably just melt soon. No, they have a machine and it keeps spitting out ice. Yes, I saw. It seems to be some sort of terraforming machine. If only someone could have prevented this from happening. If I could turn back time, I'd find a way to make sure it didn't happen again. Time travel? But if that is possible, plot points could be reverted, and any narrative dead end could be resolved with a cheap flick of the time travel reset switch. Or something like that. Anyway, perhaps I'd better report back to Chuck. Oh wow, you know Chuck? I like Chuck. He's sure to know what to do. Okay, I don't really care about you. I got things to do. Alright, we've made it back to Chucky. Hi Chuck, how's it going? Ah, large gats, good to see you again. Back to the freezer. Chuck, I've got some more information about the penguin activities. Go on. They've built something called the Terramorphine Arctic Refrigerator Dispersing Ice Spreader, or TARDIS for short. It's landed on the desert, and it's now slowly changing the desert to an arctic tundra. That's very worrying indeed. Did you get a look at this TARDIS device? I couldn't look too closely. There were several penguins wandering around nearby. But I did speak to an old friend of yours called Croc. Ah, Croc. He used to live here in the zoo, and he escaped a long time ago, but it's good to know he's still out there. Croc was complaining that all the ice that was coming out from Tartarus, the desert was cold, and he wasn't very happy. Is there anything we can do? Well, we do have one option. A while ago, a PBJ agent was tasked with infiltrating extreme penguin cells. This group of penguins in the desert sound pretty extreme, so maybe the agent is with them. He may be able to provide us with more information. What's the agent's name? His identity is so secret that even I don't know. So how do we find it? You'll need to talk to the penguins in the desert and see if you can work out which is the undercover agent. The only thing I know about him is that his favorite food is sardines. Maybe that'll be some help. I suggest you take your penguin disguise with you, otherwise the penguins won't talk to you. But how will I be able to get into the penguin disguise myself? The agent should have a device with him that will allow you to shrink into your device when you're nearby. I think I misplaced my penguin's device. As luck would have it, I have a spare here, but if you lose it, I won't give you another. This guy's playing hardball, so I guess we have to go back to that location. Alright, becoming a mini pangui. Oh god, not these emotes again. Okay, who likes the sardines? Ah, it's a pilot, wondering what we got to. I er, banged my head. I went to go light out. Don't really remember what happened. Remind me what happened. We brought the Tartarus here and began a process of lowering the temperature of Gilano. However, something went wrong and we crash landed here. Now the Tartarus is malfunctioning. It was to be a glorious and epic mission. We had a party before we left to send us on our way. We each served our favorite fish. There was mackerel, sardines, shrimp, and anchovies. We were supplied with the emergency items just in case that would help us with our mission. There were black ice, vanilla ice. <laughs> Ice, ice, baby. Scion ice and yellow snow. What happened to you at the party? Don't you remember how much we laughed at Navigator getting given vanilla ice? What help is that going to be? Okay, that guy clearly is not despair. Who would be despair? Rose? You're the only one that doesn't have a, a like an icon on her. Hi. Oh, hello. Rather warm out here, isn't it? Maybe yeah, because I'm in the middle of the desert, silly. Dr. Hughes tasked me with making sure everyone stays cool. Make sure you take regular breaks and stay out of the sun where possible. Right. Okay, Rose was not helpful at all. Clearly. Lara? Let's talk. i seen another one. Gordon. Let's talk to Gordon. What happened to you at the party? It was great. Luckily, I didn't have to eat any anchovies. We were given some emergency items. I lost mine, but I can tell you that Hugh had Scion Ice. Hugh had Scion Ice. I forgot what the other guy said. I just remember Hugh has Scion Ice. Laura. Talk to Laura. Hi. Oh, hello. Rather warm out here, isn't it? It's because I don't know what it's today. It's the same conversation. Dr. Hughes tasked me with remember. Okay. Wait, did Laura and Rose say the same thing, or was I talking to... Let's talk to the Emperor Wing. Emperor Wing. What happened to you at the party? I didn't pay much attention to anyone else, but I had mackerel. It was delicious. Okay, this guy is not this spy. The spy likes sardines. Could he possibly be one of the henchmen? Is there anything I could do you for? I'd love some ice cream. Sorry, we're out of ice cream. We got plenty of ice cubes, though. I'll pass, thanks. Okay, forget that. Talk to Gordon. Talk to this henchman. 
or anything to do for you. Love some ice cream. Sorry about ice cream. Y'all say the same thing. Someone else has got to be sticking out in the crowd. Oh, Hugh. I'm not a fan of parties. I mostly sat in the corner reading some medical books. I do remember noticing one of the guys doing some pretty bad dancing. He had yellow snow in one hand and some shrimp in the other. Is there no other option? Are you a spy? Pardon? Or I said, I think I might cry. That'd be the sand getting in your eyes. There's some eyewash and tartars you can use. Ooh, that was close. Finding out the PP agent is a bit of a puzzle. I need to consider more clues more logically. I forgot what, let's see what, Go was it Gordon? No, Elon, Elon or Elon Musk, motherfucker. So Hugh is the scientist and he didn't give a fuck. He was chilling. What was his clue again? Double check. I haven't you at the party. Don't remember how much we laughed at the navigator was given vanilla ice. What help is that going to be? Okay. Was it Gordon that gave me information? What happened to the party? It was a great evening. Luckily, I didn't eat any anchovies. So this guy does not like anchovies. Hugh had Scion ice. But it could be Gordon. Are you a spy? Shh, not so loud. Yes, it is Gordon. Who are you? You look familiar. Were you on the TARDIS? I don't understand. Never mind. What do you want? How do you know who I am? Chuck sent me to find you. What's happening here? The penguins have been building a doomsday device in a secret bunker underneath their base. You can see it here. It's the Terramorphing Arctic Refrigerating Dispersing Ice Spreader, or TARDIS for short. Its purpose is to change the whole of Gilanor to be a permanently frozen Arctic tundra. As you can see, things haven't gone quite to plan, and we landed in the desert. But the machine is still gradually turning the desert into a giant ice rink. Oh no! If only there was some way to stop them! We can't sabotage the Tartars while the crew and these henchmen are around, but there may be another way. There's a device back at the iceberg I've been working on during my Twibic all day passion project time. <laughs> the tap project. You would do a Jagex reference. What's that? Oh, it's time we're allocated to work on our own things, the things that we're really passionate about. Sounds good, so what have you been working on? It's called the Loring device. <laughs> We're gonna get rid of lore. Fuck lore. Execute that shit. What does it do? Well, put simply, it's a temporal displacement device. Huh? It makes time travel possible. Wow. You could go to the secret bunker on the iceberg and use the device to travel back in time. My past self will be able to help you. Maybe together we can stop this from happening. Wait, why can't you go? If I leave here, my cover will be blown. And besides, I can't risk bumping into my past self. Fine, I'll help. Great, I've hidden the DeLorean device... Oh my god, it took me a second time to say that. <laughs> but DeLoring, not only is it like getting rid of lore, but DeLore, like the DeLorean. Oh god, back to the future. This is why it's back to the freezer. It's all coming to me, guys. Holy shit. Revelation. The DeLorean device in my locker. There's also some other bits around the place that'll help you finish it. It's not even finished? Don't be grumpy, it'll be fun. Here, take this device. You can use it to locate the bunker. You'll also need the chip and fin entry code 1234. Okay, thanks. So that's a really retardedly easy to remember. I'm guessing we're going here. Get the hell out of the suit. Head 12 paces east and 8 paces south. GPS device seems to be confused. You find a barren shark buried in the snow. What the fuck? Okay, northwest. Doesn't seem to be the right place. You find a small tin containing a single fish with the property of Gordon Finn's off scrawled on it. Best leave it there southeast you notice an antique lamp on the ground but not access to a secret bunker northeast you scramble in the snow all you find is an old colored hat that disintegrates as you touch it southwest you uncover the entrance of the secret bunker the gps device disintegrates i need to be wearing my penguin's disguise to go in there i think jim the polar bear over there will be able to help me tuxedo time jim let go, let go, penguin. It's the one, two, three, the four, R. Simple as fucking code. Oh shit. It's about to go down, 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 where the hell am I going? I know I got a lot of crazy ass Philippe. It's a Philippe. Oh, it's a Philippe. What the hell am I supposed to be looking for? Found a secret bunker. I should search Gordon's locker in the secret bunker. Okay, in the locker. Locker. Okay, this is a locker room. 
I found Gordon Prototype DeLorean device and a list of the items you need to find to complete it. Read DeLorean device parts list. Something to cap it all off, something to bind the pieces together, something to keep the device cool, something thorific, the knowledge to bring it all together. I'm assuming this is where we're going to be making the DeLorean. Great Scott! Fishing rod. Never know when you need to go fishing. Philippe! Let's talk to Philip. Philip. Hello. Oh, good. Are you here for a presentation? Um, no. Just who are you anyway? I'm Philip, and I'm waiting for some very important penguins so we can begin our strategy update. I think they've gone. You're like the only penguin still here. Oh, and I've been practicing, and I'm ready to deliver my strategy update for the year. It's about transformation, transformation, transformation. So what do you do around here then? I'm in charge of strategy and more recently, sales. Sales, don't you mean sales? Yeah, that. There's been a recent boom in that sector. Here, take this pen, I will show you. Now give it back to me and say, hey man, sell me this pen. Hey, can you sign this for me? I don't have anything to write with. Well, have you tried using that old rod? No, it's no good. So you need a writing implement you can rely on. Here, I'll sell you this pen. Perfect, I'll buy it. See? What the fuck was the purpose of that? You enter the some like it cold storage. Look in these crates. A hammer. Nothing. You enter what looks like area 51. Or area 5.1. Strange sound resonates from within. Mysterious ice block. Mysterious stone seems to be broken. It does, however, appear to have similar magical properties like the pure snow and a vague lemon yellow fish shape on top. Let's gather some of this pure snow. Why not? Can't gather it right now. Search the crate. Don't find anything. Probably gonna have to fix that somehow. Let's move on. The chill out room. Get ice from the ice maker. You chip off some ice. Okay. Peruse ice shelf. You pull out a book that catches your eye. What is this? Penguin book of Gillinor? Can't even read it. What if I use the hammer on the ice? I didn't do it. Or what if I use the hammer on the disc, the block? Nothing. Ice on the block? Don't you know that I don't know? Okay. Looks like we can't do anything as of right now. Let's just find the other rooms or go through the other rooms and see what happens. Enter the submarine research area. Doesn't look like anything of major interest to be quite honest, except for this fucking secret room. Okay, there's no way to get in there. So much for that. What the hell is this empty ass room? You enter the prison. Anything interesting going on in the prison? Doesn't look like it. Enter the hide and seek staging area. This is crazy. This is where they find all their like outfits to spy on everybody. Let's search the cupboard. Find an old hat. How strange. What the hell do penguins go through here? Are you guys alive? What the hell? Oh, I found everything apparently. Something to cap it all off must be a hat. Something to bind the pieces together. Something to keep the device cool. Something Thorrific. Oh, a hammer is Thorrific. Okay. Knowledge to bring it all together would be the book. Something to keep the device cool is the ice cubes. Something to bind the things together, I'm guessing, is the flax. Something to cap it off is the hat and then the prototype. So. Let's just use it together. Um, something to cap it off. We got the Flax Cap Isator. So use that on the device. We now have the DeLorean device. You fill around a bit with the things in your inventory and manage to complete the DeLorean device. Let's operate it. Looks like you've arrived on an island with monkeys on it. Holy shit, guys. What the hell? Those sharks are huge. Compared to my penguin ass. Okay, these monkeys. 
Take a coconut. Take another coconut. There's some crazy shit. Those are just more sharks. We are so fucked, boys. Can I do anything with these coconuts? Use it on the monkey. Knock out the monkey. That doesn't do anything. Okay. Let's think about this, boys. Oh, there's more stuff. More stuff. Monkey wrench. So we now have the monkey wrench. What if we use the monkey wrench on the coconuts? Nothing. Okay. Uh, think about this, boys. Monkey wrench on a monkey? Couldn't be more wrong, but let's do it. Nothing. What now? The device did something. Though this place doesn't look right, perhaps it needs calibrating somehow. Maybe tightening some of the nuts would work. If only you had the tools. So we now have the monkey wrench. Use it on the DeLorean device. As you tighten the nuts with the monkey wrench, something moves into place. Perhaps it'll work properly this time. What is this place? Something wrong again. This isn't the past. Oh look, Ping and Pong, world famous rock stars. Long time no see. Take the bongos. Take the cowbells. The device did something, though the place doesn't look right. Perhaps it needs some fine tuning somehow. Use the cowbells on it. And use the bongos on it. Operate. What is this place? Not again, it's definitely not in the past. Cabbages, cabbages everywhere and not a bite to eat. Okay. Why are we with the Gower brothers? Use the cabbage on the device. You rub the cabbage on a DeLorean device, it seems to have primed ready to use. What the hell? What is this place? The device is really broken, it can't be the past. Everyone looks the same, probably tired of looking at each other. Holy shit, we're in the freaking mining guild and everyone's botting. This is fucking crazy, my boys. What the hell? Hey, he's got a dragon pickaxe. My er, mining level is... Arg, a talking penguin. I mean, shh. Keep your voice down. What's going on? I was sent here to investigate these people, if you can call them that. What's wrong with them? Well, they're all doing the same thing and behaving very oddly. Almost like they lost their mind and become drones or robots or something. Can I help? We've tried distracting them by throwing things, but nothing happens. As my mom used to say, if it's not working, give it a kick. Perhaps you can try. Pete C hands you some worthless old boots. Oh, I fixed the device. It's worked, I think. Desert Island, no cabbages, no finny ninlurna. No worker drones. I made it to the past to something close enough. Alright, so I made it to the past. What do I need to do now? Find Gordon, see if I can help. Probably in his laboratory. Well, there's actually things like populating the areas that weren't populated before. This place looks crazy with the ice inside of it. Where are you, Gordon? Oh, there you are. Who are you and how did you get in here? My name is Large Gats and I'm from the 6H. Your DeLorean device worked and sent me back here to change the future. Slow down, slow down. Tell me what happened. Whatever it is you were, I mean, are working on here succeeds, but it crash landed in the desert inn and has started churning out ice to send Gilinar back to the freezer. I met you in the 6th age and fixed your DeLorean device to allow me to come back here and stop it from happening. 6th age, you say? But this is the 5th age. What happened? No, wait, don't tell me. Guthix. No, wait, I shouldn't tell you anymore. You need to know. We need to stop the device from leaving this base by destroying it somehow. You do realize that if we destroy it, we wouldn't have met and you couldn't have come back to stop it. But we must stop it from freezing the world. No, we must ensure the device is finished so we don't cause a time loop or paradox. You're right. How far along is the device and what can we do? Well, we've had some supply problems and issues finding parts. You'll need to speak to Elon to find out more and see if you can help him. Meanwhile, I'll think of something to try to break out of this loop and stop happening over and over. Okay, I'll go and find Elon. Elon. Hi, Gordon sent me. Do you need some help? So much to do, but sure. If you could find some things for me, that'd be a great help. Sure, what do you need? I've got a list. Have a read and see what you can get hold of. You may need to go on a dangerous mission amongst humans to find some of the parts. Okay, I'll take a look to see what I can source. Remember, humans are dangerous. What the hell? Shit ton of lemon soul runes, killer watt energy, fish vention rod, perhaps a fishing combined with a cog that mushrooms of ice, one ice box, ice cooler with ice in it, one cool ant, a cool ant pouch from somewhere in the bunker combined with ice might work. I'm gathering this pure, s oh it's pure s snow, like pure s. Fuck it's dude, this is how you're gonna make the runes. 
I got you, Jagex. Use the PRS on it. You gotta clean it. Find some lemon. Yeah. We got the lemon soul runes. Your snow transforms into what looks like a combination of these items resembles some lemon soul runes. Got the lemon soul runes. We need the killer watt energy. Do I actually need a real fish vention rod? So now I got the ice cooler box. And I need to find the killer watt energy and coolant pouch from somewhere in the bunker combined with the ice might work. Is that what I have? No, I have the ice box. So a coolant pouch from somewhere in the bunker. Cog. Use the cog on the fishing rod. Fish vention rod. Sweet! Now I believe I just need the coolant pouch. There we go. Find a coolant pouch. Now we just need ice. So we go back to that place with the ice, I believe. Yeah, that's one cool ant. Uh, let's double check make sure we have everything we need. No, we just need a killer watt energy. Where are we gonna get that? Uh, fish vention. We need eyes. Okay, just the killer watt energy. Oh, is there a killer watt? Yeah, his name is Buzz. Talk to Buzz. Buzz. Buzz senses you are not like the other penguins. Buzz, 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 buzz. You've been here for ages, and almost interesting conversation you had was with the polar bear. Buzz, 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 buzz. What's the buzz? They've been trying to extract energy from you. Buzz, buzz. A gift for me? Hands you 21 kilowatt energy. Buzz, 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 buzz. I can get more energy from your hands, but they won't be willing to hand it over. Buzz, 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 buzz. Can I get you out of here? I'll see what I can do. Stay positive. Ah, I see what you did there, Jagex. Oh my god, it took me ages to realize you have to go back to the freaking killer wad plane in the Draenor Manor and kill him to get the more energies. Aw, oh, crap. I was searching the penguin place forever. Crazy. So yeah, if you get to this point, you need the killer wad energies. You have to go all the way to killer wad plane. You have to leave the penguin place. Come here, get your insulated boots, and attack these motherfuckers. All right, let's talk to Elon now that we got everything gathered. I think I got everything. Excellent. It shouldn't take too long to get these installed. While I do that, would you mind calibrating the energy supply in the battery control panel? You'll need to supply it with some sort of energy first. What kind? Hmm. Well, there's a tricky part. All energy sources we've tried so far have failed to give sufficient power to the TARDIS. We need something stronger, more concentrated. Something with flickering, bright, sparking, gleaming qualities. As if it were a life source of a god. But I don't know where I would find such a thing. I have an idea, maybe different types of divine energy would do the job. What's divine energy? Er, uh, never mind, pretend you didn't hear anything. How much energy do you think we need? Hard to say for sure, but I think a total of 200 units split equally amongst different types of energy should suffice. Okay, I'll be back soon. Okay, I gotta get those energies real quick. Alright, got these energies. I wanna just place them into the energy container. Alright, configure the battery. What the fuck is this? To configure the power supply, select from the divine energy shown at the bottom of the console. Place them within the numbered rows on the grid starting in row 1. Once you've filled the row, check your answer. If you guess correctly, you're done. Otherwise, you'd be given hints on how accurate your guess was. White square. Your guess included a correct type of divine energy, but it wasn't in the right place. Gray square. Your guess included a correct type of divine energy, but it wasn't in the right place. So white square is your guess included a correct type of energy, but wasn't in the right place. The gray square is you cut. Your guess included a correct type of energy. That says the exact same thing. Okay. Well, whatever. Let's just mess with it. What the hell? Somehow I got it correct. I don't really don't know how to do this puzzle, but there it is. You finished calibrating the machine. Good work, young penguin. I've finished installing everything. The TARDIS is ready to go. Please inform Gordon and Hugh and then report to Emperor Wing so we can leave. TARDIS is complete. We should prepare to leave. I'll be right here. I just need to put my prototype DeLorean device in a safe place. Okay, but sure, it's somewhere we could find in the future. The TARDIS is complete, Doc. We should prepare to leave. I'll be right there. I'll just get my two assistants. Sir, the TARDIS is complete and the crew are ready. Good, good, excellent. 
Our large guests have not quite finished my pilot training. Can you fly this TARDIS and land it? Surely you can't be serious. I'm serious. Don't call me Shirley. <laughs> er, sure. What's the worst that could happen? Great. Warning. Coolant leak detected. External doors locked down. Stay calm. Don't panic. The coolants are out. Must board the TARDIS. Let's go. Am I the guy who crashes it? That's why it crashed in the first place? So it's just all coming full circle? What the hell? You decide it's best not to approach the penguins right now. You should speak to Chuck. Chuck, my boy. Travel back in time and... Let me stop you right there. Gordon sent the report over to me. I know all about it. Oh? But I don't understand. Gordon sabotaged the TARDIS in the past, but it's still landing in the desert and making the area cold. Nothing changed. Don't you see? The TARDIS was already harmless when it landed because it already been sabotaged. But what about all the ice? What about Gilnor? Gilnor will be fine. The TARDIS isn't working to full capacity, so the heat from the desert will keep the ice levels under control. What about Croc? He'll still be cold. I'm sure he'll adapt. Besides, there's a whole wide desert he can explore. Oh? Don't be sad. Have some rewards for your trouble. <laughs> what the hell? That was the quest? At the whole point, I did everything. I was the reason why everything happened. What the fuck? We got one quest point, 25k divination XP, 25k rune crafting, 15k slayer, 15k in agility, 10k invention, one additional penguin seek, uh, penguin to find each week, penguin hide and seek, and Bathazar's big top bonanza XP now scale with level and two treasure hunter keys. So that's it for the quest, my guys. If you liked that video, hit that like button. If you're not subscribed yet, hit the subscribe button for more videos like these when the quests come out and RuneScape news going forward. Anyways, I appreciate you guys watching. I am out. Peace.